All right. All right, we've just concluded the exhumation of the summited man after starting at about five o'clock this morning. Um, overall, it took about 12 hours from the start to complete the process, and um, he's now been formally delivered in our care to take to the Forensic Science Centre where he's going now. Um, over the coming days, we'll um, consult with our colleagues at Forensic Science SA and make a determination as to how we proceed from a forensic perspective. We're extremely happy with the day, how the days went. We've had wonderful cooperation from everybody involved here today, in particular Forensic Science SA, um, and SA Health and the Adelaide Cemeteries Authority. Um, and everything has gone smoothly and we're happy that we've recovered the complete remains of the summit of men. I'm happy to take your questions. Can you tell us a little bit about what happens if the body is able to be identified and what happens next with the family? We would have to um, establish grounds for a formal identification which would have to be accepted by the state coroner and the state coroner will be involved um, in the decision making process in the days ahead. Um, if the person was identified and family were identified, we would consult with those family. Um, we would provide them um, the ability to consult with our victim contact officer, as we would for the families of other long-term missing people if they required it. Um, and we would have to seek a variation to the order um, because the order as it stands now, in the absence of family, is for the summited man to return to his original grave upon completion of the forensic work. Is today and just in after 70 years of being buried in the same site to have that chance of solving this huge mystery. Yeah, well, look, I know that there's people who will say, oh, there's more important crimes you can work on, but um, you know, this is a person, this is a person who has family and has people who wouldn't know what happened to him. So we're the only ones, as in the state and the police, um, are the only ones who can assist in identifying him, and we should do everything we can. Um, for those families, despite the fact we don't know who, who they are, we have the ability um, to increase the likelihood of solving it, and that's what we intend to do. I would say you can't underestimate the impact on a family when a loved one goes missing and remains missing for years, and in this case, decades. How confident are you in the technology that you will be able to identify this There's an outstanding team of people at Forensic Science SA and I'm confident that they'll be able to formulate an excellent forensic strategy um, to move forward. Um, the remains we've got today are in reasonable condition and we think that will give us a reasonable opportunity to obtain a DNA sample. What work we do will be dependent on the amount of DNA and the quality of that sample and we can't predict what that will be yet. Yeah, we, are we were able to recover his complete remains. And what did you find along with the bone, uh, with these remains? Uh, there was a nameplate from the original coffin and some, some parts of the original coffin. Oh, cool. Thanks very huh? much.